Good day, brethren. Good day, beloved friends. We are here again. We are staying in the business of reshaping the second half of the year in the place of prayer. I think by the grace of God, today we'll be looking at the story of Jabez, and that is where we're centering our prayer point in. A presenter of our prayer point in that they are praying and asking God that there should be a supernatural shifting in your life. We are in for a shift, a supernatural shift. And that is what you are asking the Lord to do at this time for us. But as we begin to join in, in the second half of the year, few few days have been spent already. For the rest days of the second half of the year, we are going to cry unto the Lord and ask the Lord and ask Him and say, Lord, let there be a supernatural shifting. Let there be a supernatural shift in, in my finance. Let there be a supernatural shift in my finance. Let there be a supernatural shift in my family. Let there be a supernatural shift in my ministerial assignment. Let there be a supernatural shift in my destiny. Let there be a, a supernatural shift in my environment. That there will be a complete change. This is what that makes a difference. What will make the first half of the year different from the second half of the year is the supernatural shift and the supernatural shifting of the Lord. When the Lord shifts a man, when he writes a story of a man, that man's destiny completely changed. We have a story of people who cried unto the Lord for a shifting. We have people that who, who seek the face of the Lord and the Lord heard them and the Lord answered them. A clear example is the example of, of, of Jabez in First Chronicle chapter 4 first chronicle chapter 4 and in verse i would would read i'll read in verse i'll read in verse 10. first chronicle chapter 4 and in verse 10 the scripture said and jabez called on the god of israel which is our god which is the god that we serve the unfailing god it can never change nothing make nothing on earth can make you change in malachi he said i am the lord i change it not he said and jabez called on the god of jacob the god of israel and said oh that thou wouldest bless me indeed if if you remember the story of jabez in the previous chapter the, 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 the scripture was speaking he said jabez was honorable than his brothers Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. You understand that? Even at this point, a, the, Jabez was not contented, contented with where he is. He discovered that, ah, you can imagine if Jabez can still pray and say, Oh Lord, please enlarge my course. Please, can you bless me more? Oh, that thou will bless me and enlarge my course. If you can if, if you can really imagine the state that Jabez is and Jabez was he said there was he said of Jabez that he was more honorable than his problem then you will know the poverty level of his loved ones of his brethren and people that he was living with that is to tell you that no matter how bad the situation is no matter the condition where you are now there is still, there's still a higher level of shifting ministerially there's another level God wants to shift it to Financially, there's a level that God wants to shift, shift it to beyond the level of sustenance, but to a, to a level where you can be a supply to supply other people's need. There's, there's a shift, there's a position that God will shift a man from, a financial position that God will shift you from where you are, from the point of living from hand to mouth to the point you begin to field a whole community and put many people on payroll. This is what we're talking about. That is what the supernatural shifting the does to a man. And that is what, uh, what we are going to center our outcry on in this moment. I'm asking, oh Lord, I ask for a supernatural shifting, financial shifting, career shifting. In my office, let there be a supernatural shifting. In my ministerial work, let there be a supernatural shifting. In my family, let there be a shift in my family. Let the story of my family be turned around. 
And that is why we are crying unto the Lord and say, Oh Lord, in this second half of the year, I want to experience your supernatural shifting in my life. And so, and so say, and Jabez called upon the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed and enlarge my coast. You know that he has a coast, he has, he has something that people may, people may recommend him for good, but he still understands that he has not gotten to where God is taking him to. I begin to cry and say, Lord, enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast. And that thou would keep me from evil, that, that, that it, may, it may not grieve me, and God granted. That is my joy, that God can grant the hard desire of a man. That God can, that can at least can hear the cry of Jabez and grant, and the Lord grant him that which he required, requested of the Lord. That is the confidence I have that at this very moment, that as we journey in the second half of the year, the Lord shall bring that supernatural shifting that we need in our life. Let's open our mouth and begin to worship him and give him all the glory for all he has done for us. Let's appreciate him for the beginning, first day of the month of July to this very time. Let's open our mouth and begin to worship him. Give him all the glory for all you have done for us. Appreciate him for the journey of the second half of the year. Appreciate him for the alpha he has helped us and saw us through to this very time. He's a great God and none can be compared to him. He's I am that I am. Open your mouth and appreciate him. Father, we give you all the praise. Adonai, we give you all the glory because now one can be compared to you. You are God. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for a human. You are God all by yourself. Oh, you are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for a human. Oh, you are God all oh, by yourself. Open your mouth and appreciate him because he is God all by himself. You don't need a man to be the God he is. You don't need the help of a man to become who he is. He is God and is God all by himself. He has been God all the way. He has been faithful to us. He is his mercy that has kept up where we are. He is the mercy of the Lord that has preserved us. He is the mercy of the Lord that has kept us. He is the mercy of the Lord that has preserved us from the hands of the wicked. Why not open your mouth and appreciate him and say, Father, we come to give you all the praise. We come to give you all the glory because no on, on earth in that in heaven can be compared to you you are the mighty man of war you are our healer you are our deliverer you are our sufficiency you are our provider we come before thee and we lift up our hands in auto unto thee and say father receive our praise thank you father for our far we have seen uh, thank you because you are the god who answered prayer and when we call upon you you will answer us Thank you for all what you have done so far. Blessed be the holy name in the name of Jesus. Beloved, now we are going to pray. First of all, we are going to ask God and say, Oh Lord, I need a supernatural shift in my spiritual life. Let there be a supernatural shift in my spiritual life. Oh God of heaven, I ask of you that you will shift me spiritually. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask of you, Oh Lord, that this day by your spirit, let there be a supernatural shift in my spiritual journey, in my spiritual sense sensitivity in my spiritual receptacle let there be a shift let there be a shift in my life let there be a, a shift in my spiritual journey with you oh lord that I, in my prayer life that there will be a shift in my study life let there be a shift in in my career la shuparada for that i ask of you today i come before thee i am that i am oh lord god of heaven 
weapon and Jabez called upon your name and he granted shifts that he needed. Oh Lord, we ask of you, Lord, today, today, I ask of you as I join in in this second half of the year. Oh God of heaven, let there be a shift in my spiritual life. Let there be a spiritual shift in my spiritual life. Let there be a shift in my spiritual journey with you. Let there be a spirit, my shift in my spiritual communion with you. In my study life, let there be a shift in my spiritual spiritual understanding of the kingdom mysteries. Let there be a shift in my study life. Let there be a shift. Shabilukubebebarat. Lord, I ask of you, Lord, let there be a shift, let there be a shift in my spiritual sensitivity, let there be a shift, oh, in my spiritual sensitivity, let there be a shift in my spiritual visibility, let there be a shift, oh, Lord, open my spiritual eye, let that shift brings up the opening of my spiritual eye, the more, the scripture says, the scripture speaking, you say, who is blind but my servant, who is blind, who is Death, but my messenger. We call ourselves your servant, but spiritually, we call ourselves Christian, but spiritually, we cannot hear your voice, we cannot see your voice directly. But Lord, we are crying out to thee in this second half of the year. Oh Lord, let there be a shift, let there be a shift from that deafness to from that deafness, from that deafness, from that deafness and blindness. Oh Lord, from that, that level of lack of understanding, Lord. Let let there be a shift. Let there be a shift in our walk with you. In my walk with you. Let there be a shift. I shall be father we ask of you lord in a spiritual walk with you let it be a shifting let it be a shifting let it shift. and moses and the lord was speaking to Moses, he said, Yeah, tarry long on this mountain. There is a need for you to move. Command the children of Israel that they may move. And they began to move. Father, we have tarried long in this position spiritually. I'm tarried long in this position spiritually. Lord, let there be a shift in the second half of the year. Let there be a shift in a cooperative ballot here. Beloved, are you praying that prayer? Why not ask the Lord? Oh Lord, ship me. Ship me from where I am. Ship me from where I am. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not satisfied with there anymore. Jabez was not satisfied with where he are. Even though he was praised among his brethren, he was still not satisfied. Why not pray and ask the oh Lord? I need more of you. Father, I need more of you. Let there be a shift in. In my prayer life, let it be a shift in with my studying life. Let it be a shift in in my communion with you. Let it be a shift in in my fellowship with you. Let it be a shift in in my dealings with you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, in consecration, let there be a shift in us. Beloved, you understand that the level of man's consecration determines the level at which God can use the man. The level of your consecration, the degree of your consecration is the degree of God's manifestation in your life, in your ministry, and in your family. When you pray and ask the Lord, in my consecration level, take me higher, take me to a let there be a shift in that will raise me up. If your life must make a difference in this second half of the year from the first half of the year, then there must be a shift. 
in your consecration and commitment to the things of God. And you can, this cannot just happen. It happened by, by, by God himself. He said, and the Lord thy God shall circumcise. It is the, it is the Lord our God that can do it for us. You know, pray and say, oh Lord, let there be a shift in it. Let there be a shift in my spiritual life. Let there be a shift in my spiritual life that will make a difference in my Christian journey with you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Now we are going to pray and ask the Lord. Oh God Almighty, I ask, let there be a supernatural shift in my finance. The text was speaking, he said, remember, and Moses was speaking to the children of Israel, he said, remember, it is the law that teacher thee to make wealth. That is to say, if you must make wealth, it is the law that teach, and there must be a shift in from that poverty level shifting to prosperity to shifting from that from living from hand to mouth to become a one someone that can feed a entire community and nation open your mouth and pray and ask the lord oh lord i ask of you let there be a supernatural financial shift let there be a super financial shift financial shift financial shift financial shift in my life oh lord in this second half of the year let there be a financial shift Massive financial shift in my life. Oh Lord, he said, and, and the Lord shall bless the works of your hand. I no pray as the Lord. Oh Lord, this is at the work of my hand. This and this and that. Oh Lord, let there be a shift. Bless the work of my hand. Bless the work of my hand. Bless the work of my hand. Bless the. It is the desire of the Lord that we prosper. Oh shuku paka paka that a fera doga feka pe oh. Father, I ask for oh Lord, for a supernatural shift in my finance, a supernatural shift in my in my, in my finance, a supernatural shift in my finance, like you did for Jabez. You enlarge the cost of Jabez. Oh Lord, do do that for me. Do the same for me. Enlarge my financial cost. Enlarge my financial cost. Enlarge my financial cost. There are additions to be there are nations to need that need to be conquered there are, there are life that need to be imparted there are souls that need to be imparted and there are people who who don't who do just need a, 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 square, a three square me for you to minister to them and at the instant you give them the food you minister you have opportunity to minister and that is where the salvation is being tied to oh lord god almighty we ask of you today let there be a financial sheet Oh Lord, let there be a financial shift. Let there be a financial shift in my life, in my family, in my ministry. Let there be a supernatural shift. Financial shift. Financial shift. A copa capa capa. Shape up that. A rate copa. Open our eyes to the sacrifice. Open our eyes to the assignment. What we need to do that will bring about this financial shift in. A shamele de kabele. Ijula rai. A rata pe 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 pe. A kuta shit zarada, rakupa pape peparat, vile kuparada, a kadek set up in her. Oh Lord, in my ministry, let there be a financial shift in my family, let there be a financial shift in my own individual life, let there be a financial shift. Oh Lord, we ask of you, this is our heart cry, let there be a supernatural. Beloved, open your mouth and pray. Oh Lord God of heaven, oh God of heaven, this is our cry, this is our supplication today, that ah, you God of mercy, you that teacheth men to make word, you that lead men in the path of word, lead us to the path of word, let there be a shift in our life, let there be a shift in our finale, let there be a shift in our finale, let there be a shift in our spiritual journey, let there be a fish a shift in our financial life in this second half of the year. In the name of Jesus, there are needs that need to be melted, there are people that need to be delivered, there are people that need to be attended to the nations that the gospel need to get to. Oh, Father, we ask of you. 
Let there be a shift, a financial shift, a financial shift in my family. In my family, let there be a financial shift. Oh, God of heaven, in my in my ministry, let there be a financial shift concerning my destiny and career. Let there be a financial shift in the life of my children. Let there be a supernatural financial shift. Oh, Shabela Gandogobo, he could Pray for your husband, pray for your wife, pray for your siblings, pray for your relatives, everyone one connected to you. Let there be a shift. Let there be a supernatural shift in this morning. This very moment. Oh God, let there be a shift in the second half of the year. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Oh Lord, we ask of thee. Let there be a shift in, in our life. We love open your mouth and pray. Pray and tell the Lord. Pray and tell the Lord. A cat like a dish. He could salsa it at the cathedral. A good paralaria does a poco papa papa papa. A feco topa papa. A copal zapal topa laria. He could so co papa. And the sape at a go better. A cofara caca sape rapa capa capa. A quack at that top. A shop at that. When I pray and ask the Lord, Oh Lord, and Apostle Paul prayed and said, Oh Lord, that the dead utterance will be given unto us, and that the gospel will have a free course. When I pray and ask the Lord, Oh God of heaven, in this second half of this year, ministerially, for the conversion of soul, let there be a shift. Let there be a shift in the atmosphere. Let there be a shift in the atmosphere that this second half of the year let there be massive conversion of soul as you minister to people as you minister the gospel to people let there be a shift in the atmosphere for conversion of soul let there be a massive conversion of soul in the second half of the year Oh, by the reason of a shift, and the reason of a shift of atmosphere, when the atmosphere shifts, there will be massive conversion. There will be restoration of bad slides. Oh, Lord, we ask of you, let there be a shift in the atmosphere. Let there be a shift in the atmosphere for the conversion of souls. Let there be a shift in the atmosphere. A chapel of you. Japal, Every dark cloud over the heart of man, every dark cloud over the source of man, now find it difficult to understand the, the terror of her, and find it difficult to understand the sacrifice of Christ on the cross of Calvary. Oh Lord, we ask of thee, oh Lord, let there be a shift in. In this season, let it be a shift that in this second half of the year, we will record massive conversions of soul. There will be massive conversion of soul. There will be a change in our story. Father, let there be a shift in the name of Jesus. You going to pray that Lord. Lord, in my health, let there be a shift. Let there be a shift. Let there be a shift. Oh God of heaven, some person will start diving down from January to this time. But you're going to ask the Lord, oh Lord, by the healing vessel, by the healing band of Gilead, let there be a shift in. Let there be a shift. Let there be a shift. Let there be a shift. A katapa kaigusia. Fekwata diatapa masapa rapa papa ekupara. Let there be a let there be a health shift. Let there be a health shift. Oh. Oh Lord, take us to that better health. Take God, give us a better health in the second half of the year. As the Lord has said, Oh Lord, grant me a better health in the second half of the year. I'll not be rising and falling from hospital to hospital in the course of the second half of the year. Oh Lord, let there be a shift from sickness to health. Uh, let there be a shift from sickness to health. Let there be a shift from, uh, shift from sickness to healing and from healing to permanent health. Thank you, Father. We give you all the prayer. In the name of Jesus. Father, we want to appreciate you. Thank you for your mercy. 
Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your man like Jabez that call upon you. And the confidence we have is that you are the heart desire of Jabez. And so we come in the same way, man, that we have asked of you that there will be a supernatural shift in our spiritual journey with you, a supernatural shift in our finance, a supernatural shift in so winning, a supernatural shift in our career, a supernatural shift in our health, a supernatural shift in our family, a supernatural shift in all that concerns us in this second half of the year in the name of Jesus and I take authority over every negative situation that has lingered from the first half of the year into the second half I decree now be paralyzed in the name of Jesus I rebuke you satanic hold I rebuke you satanic anger I rebuke you satanic influence in the life of this one in the name of Jesus I shift you from the realm of sickness to the realm of health I shift you from the realm of poverty to the realm of prosperity I shift you for the to the to the, to the to the, to the, from the realm of scarcity to the realm that uh, to a uh, realm of an enlarged coast in the name of Jesus, you will live and you will fulfill destiny. All you need, the Lord will supply in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for you know you have answered us. For in Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. <laughs>